Hello, we're going to talk about compound conditionals today. I thought it was a little bit like this, only not really. <laughs> so silly comic to kind of get us started. All right, a compound injunction is this. A compound statement is a statement that connects two statements with either the word and or the word or. With a conjunction, a compound statement has two statements connected by the word and. With the um, and the conjunction is true if and only if both parts are true. We'll see examples of all of these in just a minute. A disjunction is a compound statement that has two statements connected by the word or. So conjunction, they work together in conjunction. In other words, they're going to be connected by and, and they both need to be true. A disjunction, there's, there are two things that are disconnected, and one or the other needs to be true. Let's take a look at this. Conjunction. If it is Tuesday and you are under the age of 10, then you may eat for free at Super Susie's Sliders. The disjunction would be if it is raining or snowing, then I'll put my windshield wipers on. So you can see in this case, you needed both to be true for the conclusion to be true. In this one here, either one could be true and the conclusion is still valid. All right? So with conjunctions, one or are both of them together with disjunctions one or the other. Okay, so let's go ahead and identify some of these as conjunctions or disjunctions. If there is good music and good food, then I will go to the party. All right, the key here is connected by and, meaning that both things need to be true. All right, it is definitely two things working in conjunction. They work together. You need both to be true, therefore it is a conjunction. All right. If it is evening and it is dark, then I will put on the I will turn on the light. So are these two separate ideas? No. It's connected by and it will be a conjunction. Now if you said maybe if it was evening or it was dark, like maybe the, during a storm you'd turn the lights on or something, then it would be a disjunction. But because we have the word and, they work together, both parts need to be true, it's going to be a conjunction. If a triangle is right or has a 135 degree angle, then it is not acute. All right, so now we have the or in there making this statement a disjunction, All right? If it has this or it has this, then that is a true statement. All right, one more. If Jim or Evan eat the habanero, then we can eat for free. You go to a, a restaurant and they say, if you eat, can eat one of these things without crying or throwing up, then you can eat for free. So. If Jim or Evan eat the habanero, then we can eat for free. This is two separate ideas, disconnected, disjunction. All right, two separate ideas. If one or the other is true, then the conclusion is true. So let's try it. We're going to write the following as a compound con um, <coughs> conditional. I'll stay home if I have a fever or a sore throat. So we would write this as if something, then something. And we have the or in between, so if something or something, then the conclusion. So let's go ahead and look at that. If I have a fever or a sore throat, neither when I type. All right, so if I have a fever or a sore throat, then I will stay home. All right. We've just made a compound conditional. And not only that, because we have an or statement in there, it's a disjunction. All right. Okay. So how can we prove that they are true? 
With a conjunction, both parts of the hypothesis must be true. For example, if it is evening and it is dark, then I will turn out the light. For a disjunction, if only one part of the hypothesis is true, then the statement can be a true statement. If Ken or Steve pass the test, then we can have ice cream. Either one or the other, and it makes a true statement. All right? So that's the difference. A conjunction needs both parts to be true. You have that and in there. And the disjunction, just one part needs to be true when you have that or. Two more things that we're going to talk about are inclusive and exclusive. With inclusive, when both parts of the or when both parts of the hypothesis of a disjunction may be true. So remember, a disjunction says or in the middle. So if it's Let's go back. If Ken or Steve pass the test, then we can have ice cream. Is that inclusive? Can both parts of, the hi of this disjunction be true? Yeah, both of them could do it, right? Um, unless it was the same habanero. But um, both parts could be true. You could have both of them eat it. Exclusive is when both parts of the hypothesis cannot be true at the same time. You have a disjunction, and they both can't be true at the same exact time. Let's look at some examples. Inclusive. If it is before noon or the baby is sleeping, then I will clean the kitchen. All right? So if it's the morning time or the baby's sleeping, then I'll clean the kitchen. You could have both happen at the same time, right? The baby could be sleeping in the morning. Let's look at exclusive. If a figure is a square or a trapezoid, then it's a quadrilateral. It can't be both a square and a trapezoid, you see? So this is a disjunction that is exclusive. Can't, both can't be true at the same time. It has to be one or the other, whereas an inclusive statement would, could conceivably be both at the same time. If today is Tuesday or you are over the age of 65, then you can receive a 10% discount on books. Is this one inclusive or exclusive? if it is Tuesday or you are over the age of 65. Well, this one here is inclusive. It could be Tuesday and you could be over the age of 65, right? On Tuesday, not everyone over 65 doesn't suddenly become 50, right? On Tuesdays, people can still be over the age of 65. So they would get the discount. All right. If the car is blue or red, then I will purchase it. All right. In most cases, I guess you could like crazy paint a car, but in most cases, a car is not going to be blue and red. All right. If it's blue or red, we would say that this one is exclusive. It can't be both blue and red at the same time. Um, but again, a disjunction because it has or, but it's an exclusive disjunction because it's not going to be both at the same time. So quick recap. We talked about compound con conditionals. When there's a conjunction, it has the word and, and both parts of the hypothesis need to be true. With a disjunction, it has or, and either one of the, of the hypothesis could be true. And then with inclusive, both parts can be true of a disjunction at the same time. And with e exclusive, um, they can't really be the same or they can't really be true at the same time, both parts of the hypothesis of a disjunction. So hopefully that lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.